This video tutorial is to help those that are working on their narrative section in their program review, specifically for those in the learning support services. So once you sign into Noventive, you should be you should be here, right? You should be in your landing page. You should have your department up here, and this is where you should go. So the first thing you want to do is go to the hamburger menu right up here. You're going to click on it, and you are going to be going to the Learning Support Services Review Narrative. So you go ahead and click on that, and it should take you to this menu right here. Um, here you will be able to see all of the previous years uh, for the previous... Um, program review cycle. So the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and click add new and it should take you to your uh, new report. So first I just want to talk about these little menus over here. These are some documents that are helpful for all of this right here. So uh, the first uh, one here, if you click on it, it should be your uh, previous uh, program review um, and it has all of your stuff that you have submitted so you can um, use this to go back and refresh your memory when you're filling this out um, and then the other document is uh, your course assessment column uh, report and that should um, also be there for you to view um, so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click this report completion status you're going to change this to in progress currently being updated and myself personally I always just write notes to myself here until I'm done then I'll delete that and then if you have any comments uh, you can write them there that's up to you but personally I would just write you know today's date um, and then I would say something like you know draft or something whatever it is that is going to trigger my memory um, or you know I need to complete whatever it is right so I'll write my note there, you can hit save, I say I would hit save after absolutely every single time, but that's just me, I'm paranoid with technology, um, it should um, essentially uh, auto save, okay? So the next section is going to be the overview, um, and here you are going to be able to just fill it out, okay? So I do want to say that since uh, in this video um, I'm doing it right now, we are in year one, so the report is going to, pro like, it's just going to auto-populate to that year one. So when we are in year two, it's going to do year two. When it's year three, it will do year three, and so forth. Um, so just an FYI. Um, so here, again, you know, you would provide your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and challenges, uh, analysis of your discipline and program. Um, when you click on it, it should automatically give you um, this little, like, bo uh, help box. And if, you know, you click out, it'll come up like it'll go away but you could always click the little help um help uh icon right here and it'll just again you know comes right back out but this will give you like a little bit of like okay this is what i need to write in here or this is what i need to address it should all be in there um and then again uh you know things that you would like to be improved um what uh, plan would you pl uh, put in place to get those uh, get to those goals you would want to write that in here um, since this is a comprehensive year you know you would develop two program goals at least two program goals um, and you would uh, write them in here um, after you're done with that section you want to go to your compliance section this is uh, where you're going to talk about your service area outcomes your student learning outcomes your program learning outcomes um, and then after that, you want to uh, talk about, you know, your curriculum. Has it been updated in compliance with your program? Um, and then here you would provide any updates relating to that. Um, when you are done, you know, you can move on to your uh, resource management and continuous improvement. Here you're going to be talking about any funding that you received. So if you receive funds during the previous cycle, um, then you want to tell us about that and tell us um, how have those funds been used, if they've been used already, you know, how have they uh, helped your department uh, promote student success, or maybe if they have helped your department grow, um, and so forth. So things like that. The next thing and uh, final thing here um, is the reflection and extenuating circumstances. If Currently, we're like when you're filling this narrative up, this is the first section you're uh, filling out, and you're like, 
Um, I don't know any if it's going to be in another section. You could leave it blank for now, and then I would write again. That's where I would write my note up here, right? Like, oh, uh, I need to complete the reflection in extenuating circumstances, right? That way, when you finish the other parts, you could see, okay, you know what? I didn't address this, and then here's a good part, like a good place to write that, right? So if we missed anything um, and we didn't ask about certain things, this is a good place where maybe that program need can be addressed that you know you you are, your department has been facing. Um, if you feel that everything has been addressed in the program review, you could just write an A, that's fine. And then once you're done with this section, um, a lot of people think, okay, cool, I'm done with this section, I'm going to do complete and ready for division review. That is when you are completely and only when you are completely done with all of your entire program review, like the entire program, okay? So right now you're still going to leave it in progress if this is the first thing and this is the only thing you filled out, okay? Once it's ready for, if you want it to be submitted to a peer technical review and you're ready for it and it's still within the deadline, you can click ready for peer um, technical review and it could, you know, you would save it and it, it, we will be able to see that. Um, and once you are done, you can uh, select complete and ready for division review. And again, that is when you are completely done with everything that you are supposed to submit for your program review. Otherwise, you're going to leave it in as, you know, in progress currently being update, updated and you're going to click save and that is it for your narrative for now. Again, unless you are completely done, then you can go ahead and submit it. Don't forget to save.